Agents, meanwhile, re recently capturing more than 100 people in separate several uh, smuggling attempts. This is in Laredo, Texas, on the border, as that city now is still waiting for FEMA to arrive and help out during the crisis. Want to bring in the mayor, Texas Mayor Pete Sines there in Laredo. How you doing, sir? Good morning to you. Uh, I tell you, th th this caught my eye. In Laredo, you had a tractor trailer pulled over, 44 people inside. You had a commercial tractor hauling a tanker, 43 people inside. You had another tractor trailer, March 9, 24 people inside. What are you up against, Mayor? Well, exactly that. Thank you for having me uh, this morning, Bill. Thank you so much. Uh, yeah, just a brief description. Laredo's about 160 miles uh, upriver from Brownsville and about 600 miles downriver from El Paso, just so people will know. We're the number one land port in the entire uh, Western Hemisphere. Yeah, but going back to your question here, Yes, yeah, we've been, uh, you know, each region, you know, the Laredo sector region is very different than the RGV and, of course, the El Paso area and the Del Rio. Uh, you know, we experience uh, uh, more single adults uh, uh, from last year compared to this year. The, uh, there's been about a 140 percent increase. That's substantial. Uh, and 90 uh, percent of them are uh, or you know, single male adults, primarily from uh, Mexico, and of course these these folks then uh, through through the cartels, through this organized uh, you know, criminal activity that we have in the border area on the Mexican side, and of course it overflows uh, to a certain extent onto our side. And although our city is very safe, but yet you know it uh, matters of this uh, you know, caliber do you know occur. You know they end up in stash houses, and then from the uh, stash houses, you know they end up. Uh, uh, boarding these these uh, tractor trailers or these vans, uh, so we've had a significant increase. Uh, you know, close to 4,000 arrests, uh, uh, or 2,000 arrests in, in stash houses, and uh, I would say uh, about you know close to you know that amount also on on these vans and tractor trailers. So so as a mayor, that concerns me because obviously there's a volatility, uh, the potential of, of uh, you know things escalating and. And more overflow, uh, and I'm glad that the Border Patrol is here and the federal agencies. Okay, yeah, I mean, let, let's do something. But a head of Homeland Security said the border is secure, the border is closed. Is it secure? Is it closed, Mayor? No, no. To both uh, you know, questions, and I heard that yesterday from both uh, President Biden and also from Secretary Mayorka. Yeah, these are good words, and I appreciate that very much. But words need to be followed by actions. Uh, we haven't seen actions yet. So does it mean that uh, these these UACs, these these unaccompanied children and families, are they going to be turned away by using you know, to continue using Title 42? And if not, then then those words are meaningless. Uh, so you know, what do we do? Uh, uh, you know, obviously, I think there's there's a plan to. To amend the uh, the asylum laws, uh, so you know, people can apply from their countries of origin, that'd be great. You know, the point here being is that we need to prevent this this uh, journey, you know, from those countries to the border. Uh, you know, it's it's less risk, uh, life and limb and money and so on uh, to these folks, but also here in the community, we're the first responders. Yes, uh, you are. Yes, and, uh, people need to be cognizant of that, and yeah. uh, so. Yeah, we need this thing uh, remedied quickly. Thank you, Mayor. Pete Signs, he's, he's got a battle on his hands. Laredo, Texas, right on the border. Mm -hmm. Thank you, sir. We'll stay in contact.